What's up? It's Scott Santana, aka Ch 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 Chi Chi and bitch look. We is back for another motherfucking red shit recipes how okay, another cooking video, cooking show, eating show, whatever the fuck y'all wanna call cool this shit how we use this back. Okay, listen, I just came from the motherfucking store. Motherfucking Aldi's. Can y'all believe I had to pay 10 cents for this damn bag? 10 cents for this damn bag. Aldi's prices are cheap as hell. They know they be getting over with putting the coins into the motherfucking carts and, you know, having to pay fucking 10 cents for a damn grocery bag. Like, or else you gotta walk out with that shit like you at BJ's or wholesale type of factory. Listen, bitch. Listen, I'm not with the motherfucking shits. Okay, I've been working hard all damn day. It's feeling good outside, so I just walk my ass up to the damn store to get this food. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Let's get into the motherfucking video, how Today, I'm feeling real booty. I'm feeling real festive. Stiff. Okay, so we're gonna be making pork chops, okay? I wish I would've got some caramelas or some mouth thighs to really liven this shit the fuck up. Cause you know single de Mayo is coming out. Single de Mayo is coming out, okay? Oh wait, that's not what he quite. Well listen, bitch, y'all know what the fuck it is, how? Y'all know what the fuck it is. We feeling real festive or whatever, so we about to make a somewhat Spanish, but not really Spanish. New Alini, but not really New Alini. Bitch, we just about to make a meal, huh? We about to make a meal, huh? So let's see what the fuck I got, huh? Let's see what the fuck I got. We got motherfucking pork chops, okay? Why are we eating pork chops for dinner? Bitch, because the shit was motherfucking cheap, huh? Do you see that damn price? That's about six motherfucking pork pigs up in this bitch. Oh yeah, bitch, we about to have a good old time, huh? And we're gonna be cooking the pork chops two different ways, okay? One is gonna be in a nice little egg wash with flour, and the other one is gonna be without any batter, just straight meat. So then we also got some broccoli. You gotta have a well-rounded meal, huh? You gotta have a well-rounded meal. Like, I love protein, but you gotta get your veggies in there too. And I got broccoli, bitch, because I like broccoli, huh? And then, you know, we got a nice little box of what is this, New Orleans style red beans and rice, huh? Okay, I've never used this before. Of course, you know, I know how to make shit from scratch, so I could be making red beans and rice New Orleans style from scratch, but bitch, we ain't doing that today, how? Okay, because we on a budget. That's what Ratchet Recipes is all about. This whole meal right here, bitch, this shit came to eight motherfucking, oh, I'm lying. This shit came to motherfucking about nine, ten dollars out. Okay, so we about to cook this shit up in the damn pan. Okay, so the first motherfucking thing that we gotta do, we gotta find a motherfucking pan. Let's go get that. <sighs> Okay, so for this motherfucking video, we're gonna be using three type of cooking things. We got a pan, okay? I guess you call this shit an iron pan or whatever. We got a motherfucking um, pot and a motherfucking extra pan house. Definitely make sure you wash your shit out house. So the first thing that we're gonna be cooking is the damn rice because this shit takes the fucking longest, okay? Let's see. This shit is calling for two quarts saucepan, combine three cups of water, two things of margarine. Okay, so let's do that shit. Let's do that shit. Y'all don't mind my damn measuring cup. This shit got a hole in it. So we gotta pour this shit quick. Ooh. Oh, bitch, that might be too many cups. Oh well. Okay, so the recipe said add some butter. I'm gonna add some butter and oil. Just cause. Okay, and we're gonna let that boil you on the motherfucking stove real quick, okay? To make that shit boil you faster, just put a top over that bitch. Excuse me, we're doing a damn video, how? And I'm gonna add a couple of drops of hot sauce to the damn shit. For no reason at all. For no reason at all. I just feel like that's a little bit more. <laughs> okay, cause boy, these was a spicy. Okay, so we making a spicy dish, bitch. Okay. Oh, I done got hot sauce all over the damn place. Child, I love cooking, but I hate cleaning. That's why I need a motherfucking maid. I don't need no person who chef her because I am the person who chef. But I do need a motherfucking maid, huh? So like I said, we're gonna add just a couple of, hold up, let me do this so y'all can see me. Okay, cause bitch. Let me back y'all all the fuck up. I need a taller damn tripod, huh? Okay, so hopefully y'all hoes can see me. Hold up, let me move that shit over just a little bit. Hopefully y'all hoes can see me. Hopefully I'm in view. Let's get this damn shit out the way, girl. Girl, we're cooking, we're cooking, I'm working. We're working, okay, we're working. Okay, so, like I said, we're gonna add a couple of drops of this shit into the damn, um, hold on, let me put my damn pants up. Okay, bitch, we are on camera. We are on camera, hold on, let me back up out of view, bitch. Okay, that's a little bit better. I wish I had a bra on, but bitch, listen, we're cooking, we're working, we're working. Okay, do y'all know where I got that shit from? <laughs> Queen's Court. Okay, because you know Queen's Court is way better than Queen's Supreme Court. I'm going to stick to that damn opinion until Kaya and Tia's back to decide to get the fuck back together. But yes, I'm going to add a couple of um, 
tablespoons of bitch. I'm an eyeball this shit. I know how to fucking cook, and I don't like being told what to do. Okay, so yeah, I read the, the directions on the box, but bitch, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know how to fucking cook. Okay, so just added butter to that bitch. I'm gonna add a couple of a couple, <laughs> uh, you know, oil or whatever. Let me turn this damn light on because I like to see what I'm doing. Okay, I like to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm about to take this big ass top and just sit this shit right on top of the um, right on top of the pot or whatever. And now while that shit is boiling, I guess it's time to marinate the meat. It's time to marinate the motherfucking meat. Okay, time to marinate the meat. Let all the seasonings and shit get soaked up into that bitch. Okay, let's do this shit, how? Oh wait, this shit already boiling. Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. God must know I'm hungry, how? He must know. What the fuck am I? Oh, the rice. Bitch, I almost forgot what the fuck I was putting in there. Child. I hope these motherfucking angles is right, how? Cause the bitch act like she ain't never done a damn cooking video in her life. Okay, like I totally forgot how to do a damn cooking video, huh? Okay, just add a little jambalaya mix or whatever the fuck this is up in this bitch. Okay, I'm gonna let that boil you for a minute. And then I'm gonna, um, hold up. I feel like y'all still can't see me though. Okay. Here we go, bitch. Hey, bitch. What's up? How y'all doing, ho? Okay. So, this shit is boiling. We're gonna let this boil for like a minute or whatever. We want to take all of these pork chops because we want to eat all these bitches, okay? Like I said, we're making this two different types of ways, okay? We're making one with flour and then we're making one without flour, okay? Okay, because I know y'all bitches out there, y'all might cook shit different. Like, I know like black people, like in the South, um, you know, I know like in the South, they um like the like a lot of fried foods or whatever. And then, you know, a lot of Spanish people, I mean, those that I grew up with, they always make it without flour. So today we're doing both ways. Hold up, bitch, I forgot to add my sazon over here. Hold up, ho, because you know you can't cook without sazon, bitch. If it ain't good, it ain't good, okay? And matter of fact, while we at it, just so we not wasting time, ho, because I got shit to do when I'm hungry. Since this shit can be put in the microwave, we're gonna pop this shit up in the microwave so that way it's ready by the time all of this is done. Okay, do not pierce bag, open seam bag. Bitch, I'm telling you what the fuck to do. Okay, let me just throw this shit in there for like five, seven minutes. Exactly what the bag says. <laughs> okay, this shit boiling for a damn minute or whatever. <sighs> Always wash your shit off. Always wash your shit off. Fun fact about me, huh? Fun fact about me, how I got trust issues, so I always rewash like everything that I use, like everything that I use. Like I mean, like I rewash it, like and like dish liquid and all of that because I got trust issues, and I be trusting how bitches be washing dishes. I'm <laughs> maybe I'm feeling too much, <laughs> but I'm just not anybody. Listen, when it comes to food, I do not play, bitch. When it comes to food, how I don't play. I don't play. When it comes to food, I do not motherfucking play. I hope y'all getting these angles right, how. I can see this shit boiling. Okay. But yeah, when it comes to my food, I do not play. That shit is going into my body house. So I don't play with anything that goes into my body, whether it's food or dick. Okay, period. Like, both needs to be clean at all times, how? Okay, you wouldn't put no rusty, dusty, little bit crusty, got a little bit of mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. You wouldn't put all that into your ass, so Okay, you wouldn't put that shit into your vagina, how? Uh-uh. So I'm not about to do the same shit with my food. So yeah, we're going to let this shit cook. We're going to sit it down to like a little... Low, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna set it down to low. Rice doesn't take that long to cook, and sometimes, like, if you have it too hot, this shit on, like, all the water is gonna soak up the rice, over, well, all the rice is gonna soak up the water, and then it'll be hard, okay? So you always wanna put your rice on low. Low is the best setting, and it actually cooks the best, well, obviously the best on low. So yeah, we got that shit on, like, medium low. We're gonna put the top back on this bitch, and while we're waiting, we're going to wash this meat, okay, white people? Wash this meat and season, okay, white people? Let me say that again. We gonna wash this meat and we gonna season it, how? Okay, no salmonella today. Not today, Satan. Fuck out of here, salmonella, Satan. Fuck out of here. So matter of fact, so matter of fact, let me get this shit on camera just in case some bitch is hard of hearing. Let, let me get this on camera. I don't know if there's a proper way to wash me, but this how I'ma do it. I wash my shit on cold satin. I hate meat that be having blood in this shit, but child, it is what it is.
pepper. This looks like a lot because bitch it is a lot. Remember, we have about like six, seven pieces of this shit. I'm gonna take some paprika. I'm gonna take some garlic salt. And lastly, we're gonna take some sazon. Now the sazon, honestly, is enough seasonings. Okay, the sazon is enough seasoning. But, you know, we like to do it up over here, okay? Season, this is a season heavy household right here, okay? Gonna add about two and a half, three packets. More like three, bitch. <laughs> okay? And we just gonna mix all of this up, okay? Get our hands in here and mix all of this shit up. Okay? I want every piece of this meat coated. Coated. Okay? Do you hear me? I want every piece coated. If it ain't Goya, it ain't good, how? Okay? If it ain't Goya, it ain't good. I like my food to be orange, how? Orange, okay? That's the greatest thing that I love about Spanish food. Like, that's how you know when that Spanish food about to hit, when that shit is orange, how? Okay, you know that shit is sazoned out, goya out. Like I said, I want every piece coated, bitch. Even the bone, bitch. Even the bones. If it's a piece of meat that looks like it needs more, more love and tenderization, bitch, then add more seasoning to that bitch, huh? Okay, and you can just smell, you can just smell the seasonings rising up off of this damn meat. Mm, 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 mm. This shit about to be good, girl. This shit about to be good. Oh, this shit about to be good. Okay, microwave, I heard you, bitch. Okay. Now that every piece is coated, bitch, we're gonna let that shit sit. Okay, so now every good marinade uses some type of acid or oil. Typically, I would use like coconut oil or preferably olive oil, but I don't have that on deck, so we just gonna take a bit of this canola oil and we're gonna add that to the damn thing. Just gonna take about like a cap full. I'm lying. We're gonna take probably like three caps full. Okay. And we're just gonna add some lemon to this bitch. Okay. You could really chef it up and add some garlic. I don't think I'm gonna have time for all that. Okay, add the lemon juice in there. Okay, so now we're about to take a few cloves of garlic and add it to the pork chop marinade. And this is just a simple marinade. It's nothing special, nothing fancy. Okay, we just doing something real quick and easy. Cause it's not gonna take long to cook the pork chops. Okay, so typically you wanna marinate your food for at least an hour. Okay, some people do a couple hours, some people do a day, but we don't have all that time. So this is just something simple. Just to barely, you know, soak into the meat or whatever. Just about to take this garlic, add it to this bitch, and then we just gonna mix all of this up. Okay, just mix all of this up. Okay. Just make sure that oil and that lemon is coated on all of this shit. Now what that lemon is gonna do, is gonna add a bit of kick, it's gonna add a bit of tang to the meat. And it's just gonna make that, that acid is just gonna make all of these seasonings come alive in the meat. Okay, that's why you add a lemon or, you know, if you wanna do this more Mexican style, you can add like a, um, like a lime. And you know, I know when it comes to like Mexican food, like burritos and fajitas and shit, they be adding like a lot of limes to like pulled pork and carnitas and all that shit, okay? And like I said, we just gonna let this shit sit. Normally, I will put this shit within the refrigerator and you know, leave it in the refrigerator for like I said, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. But again, we ain't got all that time, so we just gonna leave this shit out for now because we because we pressed for time, we just gonna leave this shit sitting out because if I put it in the refrigerator, then I would have to let it marinate in the refrigerator, then take it out, give it time to warm up so it's not cold in the pan. We ain't got time for all that, so we just gonna let this shit sit to the side. Okay, so now you're gonna take three different bowls. One is gonna be plain flour. That's what you're gonna dip the pork chops into first. Okay, then you're gonna coat it in the egg wash, and then you're gonna dip it into your seasoned flour. So I'm gonna take two eggs. And I always like to add some hot sauce to my, to my eggs. Again, I like my shit spicy. 
Okay, so now for the flour, we're gonna add some paprika. Gonna add some cayenne. Gonna add some garlic and herb. And usually I would add onion powder, but I don't have any onion powder, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of steak seasoning. And I'm gonna mix this shit up with my hands. Okay, so as you can see, the rice has finished cooking. You gotta be careful with red beans and rice or like any rice really, but definitely I find like the ones that have like more ingredients inside of it, like beans and shit, that's the type of rice that could get real sticky real quick. And as you can see, it's a little sticky, but I mean, it is what it is. It has nothing to do with how, you, how you've cooked it. It's more so just how the product comes. That's why I like to make my shit from scratch. You know, so it's less mushy, but that's done. Okay, so now we about to preheat this oil and get that ready. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Again, we're not deep frying. If we was gonna deep fry, I would've used like a much bigger, like a pot, but you know, just for the purpose of this, just enough oil to cover the pan. And we're gonna let that heat up on medium heat. Okay, so now we about to take half of our pork chops, because again, we're doing this pork chop thing two different ways. Half is gonna be fried, half is not gonna be fried. So we're gonna take half of the pork chops that's sitting in here, and we're gonna start battering them. And we're gonna take a paper plate just so they can sit on the paper plate while that oil is heating up. Okay, so we're gonna take one pork chop, gonna dip it into the flour. Okay, you wanna make sure that all of it is coated. All of it is coated. And this is how your pork chop should look after you dip it in a plain flour. Gonna take your egg wash, do both sides. Okay, this is how it should look. Gonna wring out the excess. Then you're gonna take your flour and do both sides. Okay, take your flour and you're gonna make sure it's well coated. The thing about this is that it has bones, so you don't have to get too messy with this. Cause typically when you do like an egg wash, you know, your fingers start to get real, you know. Gotta hit that oil in the pan, so it's time for some food to go in there. Okay, your food will talk to you. Okay, shake off the excess. Put that shit on a paper plate. Okay, so now that we did the flour pork chops, we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna take our third pan and add some oil to it with a little bit of butter. Not too much oil in the pan, okay? Because again, we're not frying these, we're not deep frying these. We're really just we're really just searing the pork chops. Okay, so just a little bit of oil. And you could actually turn this up to high. And listen, you can never have enough hot sauce, so we just gonna add a few drops in that bitch. Why not? I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. Okay. And then now, we just gonna take our pork chops and put it in. Okay. We gonna leave the, the garlic cloves that you see on it. I'm gonna leave that shit on it because I want I want that shit to cook into the damn pork chops. And because we have what is this? One, two. Oh, it's actually three pork chops. Okay. So we'll cook two at a time. I'll let it cook two at a time. This one is falling apart. I wasn't expecting this pork chop to be this damn big. Child. And then it's all broken up. Hold up. Cause y'all gotta get this shit to sit right in the pan. Child, this pork chop is broken the fuck up. Oh my God. Okay. 
So we just about to let this shit cook in the pan. Matter of fact, we're gonna let it cook on medium. We're not gonna leave it on hot because I don't want it to come out tough. So we're gonna put it on medium. Okay? And we just gonna cook these two at a time. Ah, bitch, I forgot we had an odd number. We'll cook it one at a time. Cause two not gonna fit in this pan, so we just gonna let one cook at a time. Yeah, cause two not gonna fit in the pan, so. Just gonna cook this one at a time. Okay, so this is how everything turned out. Okay, got my rice and beans, got the steamed broccoli, got the breaded pork chops, and then got the uh, oil butter pork chops or whatever. Let's get up in here, see how this shit looks, bitch. Okay, yes. Yes, bitch. Okay, these are not burnt, by the way. These are not burnt. Again, I just like my food very orange. You know, that comes from the cayenne pepper, the smoked paprika, and the um, sazon. Okay, so these are not burnt. If they look rather brown to y'all, it's actually orange, okay? It's not burnt. It's just all the seasonings and shit, but this shit about to be hitting. This shit about to be hitting, bitch, okay? Yes, bitch, let's get up in here. Ooh, ooh, okay? This was the first pork chop I did. It didn't really brown um because I had too much oil and shit in the pan. But as you can see, the rest of this shit brown and yes, honey, guac. Yes, honey, guac. Okay. And then of course, you know, we got the same broccoli over here. You can add some butter to that if you want. And then we got the, you know, red beans and rice. Okay, so we about to fuck this shit up, huh? We about to fuck this shit on up, huh? Yes, bitch, look at that. So we about to fuck this shit on up, how? We about to fuck this shit on up, how? Yes. Fuck the fuck this shit all the way up. I cannot wait, girl. Ugh. Oh. 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 This shit about to be so orgasmic. Oh my God. <laughs>